All right, so we are doing an abstract art design today, making different kinds of lines. And then I'm also doing an unboxing of these Mondo Llama washable watercolors. I found them at Target. I made the example with a, a different set of watercolors. I normally buy Crayola watercolors or Prang watercolors. The set that I used weren't labeled. I'm guessing that they are Crayola or Prang. Um, I can't really tell. But I know they're not Mondo Llama because this is um, a new brand. So um, the example that I made turned out great. Uh, very happy with the watercolors. Did, did use a um, regular kind of art paper, um, 80 pound art paper which works out nice for painting, or at least 70 pound. So uh, this I believe is 80 though, by the feel of it. So it's thicker than the typing paper that we often use. So the Mondo Llama comes out open real easily. There's no tape or anything here, uh, keeping it closed. And uh, so it's got eight colors. Looks like brown, purple, blue. Oh, I don't know. Looks like there's two blacks. Maybe that's green. Uh, yellow, orange, red, and then the black. I don't know. That looks really dark. Okay, um, so we're going to give that a try. It also comes with a little paintbrush. Usually I don't like these paintbrushes that come in these sets because very often the bristles are um, really like plasticky. These are a hairbrush, so maybe it'll be okay, but I see that it's not very uh, even along the edge there, so that might be problematic. And it is kind of small. I prefer to use more of a six or a seven size brush, and this to me looks more like a four or maybe a three. So to start the project, I used a quick stick. Oh, actually, this one's a kid kid made modern brand, which I don't think they sell anymore at Target. Um, but that's where I got this one from. And I was just practicing my different kinds of lines. So I did three of each, three straight, and they're not going to be perfectly straight. Three zigzag. And I try to go from end to end on my paper. And I try to make the zigzags nice and even, not too high, not too low, just around the same size of each other. And then three curvies or wavies. And I try to make these wavy enough so that they don't look like they're too pointy. The center ones look more like zigzags and these ones should look more like hills. Center ones look more like mountains. All right, so I'm gonna roll that back down. This is, um, you know, you can get these in the Quick Sticks brand or the Mondo Llama brand and they work out great. Um, so that just gives us a nice thick black line and I guess I'll try their paintbrush first. I'm just going to get it a little bit wet in my water and I think I'll just try this mystery color here that was in the middle that I think is probably supposed to be green. Yep. As I get, am I getting it wet? Oh yeah. It's really turning into more of a green color. So I did do sort of a rainbow pattern, so red, orange, yellow, green. Yeah, so this uh, works fine. I don't like this paintbrush though. The hairs are too long and thin. It's going to take me forever to paint. So I'm going to switch over to my number eight brush. And I'm going to get some watercolor paint on my brush and spread that out. So I would say this is a nice solid color and even though it's washable, I'm still getting a nice bright color from this. I'm gonna get a little more water, a little 
little bit more paint and just gently spread that along. So yeah, very happy with the green color. I'm going to skip back over to the red. So I really want to make sure I clean up my brush well before I switch colors with watercolors. I want to keep that palette clean. Um, I can also use my paper towel to dry off my brush a little bit if it's a little too drippy. But because I've never used these watercolors before, they're not really wet. So a little bit of extra water on my brush is good. And you don't want to dig your brush in there. You know, I'm just, it just keeps going in the same direction. Okay, I'm going um, to the right to get the paint on my brush. And the red's turning out nicely. Need to get a little more water on my brush. All right, so happy with that as well. Next row, I'm going to do orange. So I clean out my brush really well. Hmm, that didn't come out very bright. Get a little more water and paint on my brush. See if I can get a better orange color. Okay, so far orange is a little disappointing. Less water in my brush, more paint. I kind of get the feeling that these Mondo Llamas aren't going to last quite as long as my other tray of paints. This, um, the other trays, the individual colors seem to be in a, like a thicker cartridge. These feel kind of flimsy and thinner. They don't feel like they go quite as deep. So here's the yellow. Oh, that's a nice bright yellow color. Green, I need blue. It's a nice bright blue color. So because these the black from the um, paint stick, the tempera stick is nice and thick. I don't have to worry too much about going outside the lines. I can paint kind of quickly. <laughs> so there's my blue. And purple is next. The purple in the tray is looking a little bit pastel-like. Almost dull. And it's not coming out real bright. You can see how it looks kind of almost pastel-like in there. Yeah, it's not a real bold kind of purple. I mean, it gets the job done, but there's seems to be like a little bit of gray in there or almost like a brown that's sort of dulling out the color so not a big fan of this purple maybe it'll dry differently um, so we have the brown and the black also i'm just going to test them out even though i didn't use brown and black from my other tray it's nice to know how well these colors come out. So the brown is kind of a, a tan color. I would expect brown to be a bit darker. To be a true brown. So this, uh, I tried this paint tray because I think it was about maybe 30 or 40 cents less, maybe even 50 cents less than the Crayola brand. So I was curious to see if it was similar in quality. And now this uh, black is showing up kind of greenish. 
and I seem to recall students complaining about that in their own paint sets when we had to bring our own art supplies to school saying hey I don't really have a black I have it looks green so not their fault I mean, so overall, it's a decent set of paints. Uh, would I buy these? Again, probably not. Um, I would spend the extra money to get the Crayolas because I like those colors better. And let's even, I mean, you can see a bit of a difference here, I think, between the purples and most of the other colors are about the same i mean the blue is a little bit different this one maybe seems a little bit more greenish black let's try that real quick yeah that's A lot darker and a lot less green you know as it dries it's not terrible but if you really wanted a true black you're much better off with this other set and let's check also the brown quickly yeah that's a much different brown this is more of a reddish brown or an orangey brown and the other brown was much more tan so there are definitely differences between the sets all right and good luck finishing up your abstract design